Um, so I will. Um, I have the sketch done. Uh, for those who weren't uh, on the uh, game dev meetup, I was showing the uh, process of creating character that I did with my friend. Um, uh, I think I close it. We were using a real time board uh, to uh, keep up uh, ourselves updated on the process of the character. Um, and the whole uh, idea behind it, I will not get into it right now, but uh, where's the file? Not this one. GB. So yeah, we had this few week brainstorm where we were creating a character based on my friend's idea that he wanted to create a chibi pirate. Uh, and that was the mm, first uh, concept uh, that I did and later he started creating it to, in 3D and actually we continued developing it more in 3D because it was also his first attempt in uh, modeling in Blender. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of fun and we got to... Uh, yeah, this is the final stage of the model. And I actually never painted like a cool illustration that I would wanted to with uh, the small guy. So I make this sketch today at the morning uh, to show you the process how it was created. I just started with this blob here um, with the general shape. Uh, to be sure that it's readable and cool looking uh, and I later lowered the opacity created this more detailed sketch and after it I make it more cleaner for myself to just uh, yeah, see uh, all details and not figure it out later when I will be coloring um, so I have two ideas uh, for light that I want to try out, um, two light scenarios. So it's like a f sunny day on a beach um, with uh, overexposed light where the light uh, side is totally uh, washed white. Like, yeah, like here with those golden rims or something like that or like a, a fire in a night with the blue sky, blue shadows and super red warm uh, lights. Uh, so it will be more like a thumbnailing at the first. So I actually think I will to speed up brushes because the file is right now 4K uh, wide. Um, I will just copy the sketch and make it smaller. I don't remember exactly the proportion, but it was something like that. it oops okay uh, I will create a new layer for most myself um, yeah I, I like to start with the 
middle uh, value background so I am not um, biased towards too dark or too bright uh, colors but I think for this uh, two scenarios I will have to modify it mm. Yeah, I am looking some from time to time I'm looking at the chat. So yeah, if you have questions or anything, just write them down there. I am looking for my favorite brushes. Uh, so I most often just use the uh, oils, um, artist oils, or just oils like those two categories are like my favorite here yeah okay so uh i'm trying to just uh, ballpoint the colors that I see on photographies that I showed you earlier and see how can I make it work So I, I don't think there is so right now any rhyme or reason to what color I am using. I try to think in terms of a warm color and cool colors. Um, so like this blue is a warm and I think that the light source should be on the right. Because I think I will add uh, uh, those rim light on the right side of the character. background is kind of neutral, it's more like grayish. And the shadows are quite blue. Yeah, so I'm drawing it very zoom out because it prevents me from getting into details. <laughs> So um, I also try to think about planes in space, like those planes that are facing up will catch more of the blue sky color. And usually the contrast is quite strong between the shadow and the light uh, in a sunny day.
Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how can I make it more, you know, like dramatic lighting. Uh, so what is there interesting about the whole composition? how dark the character should be or not. Um, I imagine it, he's like jumping over the rocks. So it's like a rocky beach. But it's kind of, uh, the composition is very empty so far. If I go even <coughs> darker with the values, or I just need to create a shadow of him. I am painting right now in the uh, like 4K to two and a half pixels. Um, the proportions are totally wonky. I don't know. It's just like whatever I cropped it with, but it's more for like wallpaper, right? It's a wide screen or something I can print on A4. I always try something in between, but I am not like super um, cautious about the proportions of the canvas. I can always crop it later uh, or yeah, extend it and paint it. Now I have so bright dream light, it looks more like a sunset and I'm thinking should the sky support it as well and be more uh, warm. Ah, it looks like he's running from atomic bomb explosion. Maybe I should have put like, I don't know, like some dramatic sky clouds.
Oh yeah, that 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 feels cool. try like some uh, colorizing or overlay to modify the colors because it's nice but it's super cold um, the whole composition right now and <clears throat> I am thinking how could I improve on it to make it more pleasing So let's try some variations of it. I yeah, I just I try not to be attached to, to do what I am doing, so uh, I can change it however, destroy it, remake it. There is no obligation to it. Nothing works. <laughs> Yes, I'm just switching between uh, different modes. I sometimes don't know what they are doing. I'm just checking different setups. Or we'll try maybe curves. But this starts to look too artificial. Okay, well, give it a break and try the second color composition. I can always switch between them and paint a little bit of it, paint a little of the other one, so it's like on one layer anyway.
I was even thinking for this composition to give him a torch in his hand. So there will be a light source. In here. This brush is slightly also smudging whatever is underneath it, so it's like a cool thing, two in one. I can apply colors and smudge them together using the same brush, just pressing lighter. is that I don't really have a lot of the local colors up here when it's so dark. Shush, I like both. <laughs> uh, that is always a problem so far. But I would have to. The one on the left is uh, promising, but I need to do something with the colors because they look super washed away. It's a more matter of the saturation. I'm looking right also at the color palette. Uh, this is the color wheel and I have a lot of warm colors so on this edge 
and quite a lot of these colors so it creates nice uh, color composition uh, of opposite colors on the wheel it's always nice and harmonious but I think it's really flat like there is no much of the anything else here um, so I am thinking how can I break it with one color so either I would have to use some of those or some of those uh, well his costume is not red so I cannot really use anything red in here uh, I could use maybe red for the bandana that he have that breaks it hmm I was thinking to use more reds in highlights, but no, this doesn't also look so good. So I really, I really like feeling of this photo, and it's uh, I cannot pinpoint what is it exactly. Maybe it's not that the the the, the yellows are more red actually than yellow, like the warm colors are more reddish. Uh, how can I change that? Um, let's try this. A value, saturation, hue. Okay. Ah, it's here. Replace. Is this working? Yeah, this looks good. And maybe the blues actually should be desaturated. Um, I could just color selected colors. I will pick this one, this one. also should be more toward the cyan
Yeah, shadows are lighter as well. But if I lighter it here, then I lose like um, the whole appeal of it. Like I also have on my second monitor, I have navigator, uh, so I can see the preview even smaller <laughs> to control the whole composition. Uh, what if I will brighten it? Will it look better? Oops. Oh no, I was changing the colors on the other one as well. But anyway, I think I'll go with the bright one anyway. Anyhow, um, Maybe, maybe this would work. I have some space to darken places while painting details. But still... Okay, I will, I will go with this one. It looks cool. So, I will grab these colors. And now rescale it back to the big sketch. Yep. I don't know, I think it's because of the streaming, like, coral kind of slow down. Okay. Let's see what can I adjust. Um, it would be nice actually if those elements. Mm, come on. I need those elements of the cloth to be actually more. Uh, it should be black, but how does a black cloth on a sunny beach would look like right so i need to make sure it is blue in uh, shadows but maybe maybe it's a different value less saturation should reintroduce some of the warmer colors on it. Let's see. On those planes that would be uh, not facing the sky. So also, right, like the tip of the nose is facing the sky, so tip of the nose will be blue or forehead will be more bluish or the top of the cheek will be more bluish, but everything what is facing downward will be actually 
of armor. And the shadows, there are not really that many shadows like this. Um, like in this photo, this the whole face is a shadow in shadow, like there is no additional shadows. The lighted area is this super overexposed um, uh, yeah, surface. Um, so I had to have it similar here where on the the whole face I would treat as that would be under the diffuse light because this whole area is a shadow and I need this to be the highlight uh, so the question is how do I search for perfect reference <laughs> there is, it's so hard to find the perfect reference but mostly I use Google image or uh, Pinterest sometimes I prefer Pinterest over Google search because it's more specified and you can look for uh, boards uh, where people actually collected uh, nice looking f uh, photos or sometimes using um, uh, movie frames is also great reference for light because the uh, light in movies is directed so well that using um, movie screens is really good idea overall I'm still trying to yeah just pinpoint the general lighting you have a golden rim on the hat so I'm trying to find good colors to put it there So yeah, this, this part of the whole illustration is the most important one and more often it's like the funniest. As soon as you uh, set up all lights correctly, this is you just turn into rendering machine and you just render everything. But the whole problem solving um, of the lights and shadows is right here, uh, right now in this color comp to figure out um, how, where, why this is most important, it takes the most energy <laughs> uh, uh, and it's most, most creative as well Um, actually, uh, yeah, there's a question on chat. Do I first set up uh, lights and shadows or I set up color mood? Uh, so it depends. Like sometimes I have different approaches. Um, the next month my uh, article Imagine Ethics will show up and there, there's a different uh, uh, 
um, process that I am doing and in there I establish lights first and color later and today I did the opposite where I make uh, color compositions and I went with the color so it's like more a la prima uh, no shadow establishing but I gathered references that what I exactly want wanted to achieve with the light. Uh, I had two color scenarios and I tried both and I went with one and I am yeah, doing it right now. <laughs> Figuring it out, how can I make it even better? I will have to later find some good references for dramatic sky, uh, dramatic clouds. Yeah, so um, maybe that's uh, uh, also a good tip for looking for good references. It's like add word like epic or dynamic. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, there are epic photos up there that you can use. His uh, coat is more saturated, bluish, uh, maybe more darker, more marine blue. And the pants actually are gray. Maybe I will go with warmer gray. I was unsure what he should hold, but I think in this lighting, maybe it would be cool if that would be actually a sword, so I can do cool looking metals. Uh, I also like to flip from time to time. Ugh, it's so squashed. I need to fix the hat and the head overall because it's like squished like that but I am left-handed so I often uh, yeah, transform it automatically and I need to fix it later Does looks promising. Uh, it's not this. A uh, hue of the light. I need something more orangish to make it work better. Okay. And the light is like kind of from back, 
forward. I know, should I put the palms behind him or not? Yeah, it is kind of heavy on one side, so I need something up there. Oops. Not this layer. That's too much. Should be something smaller. Uh, maybe that's even too much. I think that's enough if I just put some indication of the land up there, but nothing more complicated. Maybe it should be even like a, a water, actually. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good. <laughs> okay, I'll put back my s uh, sketch, and I actually think I can colorize it uh, and put it on multiply, so it will be less distracting. I like to turn sketches like some warm color, so especially for characters because it's easier later to blend it. It's still visible, but not very dominant. And I need to fi fix his head. Oops, I have this, what is it? I, no I don't need that line. Okay. Uh, uh, the question from chat, uh, when I search for references, do I also color pick? Um, um, not really. I try to ballpoint them. So I, w I try to do as close as I can, but it's also because it's like, um, I painted, I'm painting for a long time already, <laughs> right? So. I think for a uh, beginner is easier to pick point and see how they look, but don't exactly use them. Just just um, pick point them to see uh, what are the spectrum of the color, how they use on neutral, because it's sometimes super surprising. Um, it's really hard to make this thing uh, to distinguish color between local color and local color under a specific 
light condition like if it's if it's something uh, blue under the uh, warm colors it looks completely different than blue under the cool colors so it's really uh, important to understand the aspects of the colors um, before you are able to really well ballpoint uh, colors overall so I think yeah it, uh, if that will be like a few years ago, I'll probably be more pick, um, uh, yeah, picking colors from the photo. Uh, okay, what should I do with the head? It's. Um, for sure, this line doesn't look so good. Something is off here. Maybe I'll even draw over the sketch so I. Um, don't see it, but I think this line have to be higher. And the middle of the head is more here. I often like to um, actually overpaint instead of like uh, copy paste and modify because um, Sometimes when you just redraw it second time, you have the better overall feeling than believing that your first approach was the good one. Uh, so sometimes removing the mistake and overpainting it, even if it takes more time, um, I find it looking better at the end. Uh, no, this wasn't an ear. That is, a, this is an ear. And since I have light behind, I can do subsurface scattering. Also on this side, it won't be that red because it's super exposed light on this side but there is a soft surface here and in cheeks so it's like you see really big brush really big uh, shapes before I will get anywhere close to final rendering I am trying to just work big Yeah, even even the problem like right now I have this hole here right of the uh, uh, very bright light does it help to read the character or does it interrupt it in some way like is it too much should this shape be opened or can I close it and have those two shapes next to each other I think actually that when it's open it looks better so there is some air breathing in there. dark with that color uh, 
So looking back at this photo reference, what is the temperature of the shadows in here? So all the lights I am treating, right, this all arena of the shadow, now I have to treat it as like separate um, uh, value where all lights are cold and all shadows are warm. And that's what I need to take into consideration in choosing the color of the shadows on the face. They have to be warm. Already warm. Maybe even redder. Okay, maybe too much. But something like that. Okay, that looks cool. And I also need to have slight more. Yes, this, this have to have the stronger contrast. Also, you, you don't want to really use the same um, color everywhere, right? Like I am not going here constantly to the shoe to pick the darker color from here. I always try to pick color from the local area and then modify it on the color wheel instead. Um, uh, I'm looking at the chat right now. Um, Uh, the shadow as a different shape per se and if you divide against what are warm and what is cool. Um, ah, yeah, because, um, yeah, the, 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 how you say, how to say it, maybe I should, uh, can I copy this photo? Yes. So there is Zomain, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, like uh, on this photo I have uh there is uh, if we have a spectrum uh from light to dark, right? It's here is la okay, this. Here is a shadow, right? So the darkest darks and forward is light it should be gradient it doesn't look like but it should be gradient right and somewhere here we have shadows on one side uh, one the uh, side of values is grouped as a shadows if that's a full spectrum right and this is this is shadows and those are lights uh, and in this photo all the lights are compressed so I have more details in the values so for this photography lights are here only right it's like just the whites and the all rest is reserved for shadows but right now as I am focused on the shadow uh, side there are also shadows in here those, those are more just the local ones uh, and I am looking at the color of them so the, this color because it's hit by the sky have a more blue in it and those that are facing downward uh, will catch more of the warm light so the shadows in the shadow are warm and lights in the shadow are cool. Ok, 
Okay. Back to here. Uh, I have to also check the character. Uh, the, the software that I'm using for references is... Um, uh, I forgot the name. It's Pure Ref. It's like a free app that you can download. Okay, I'm looking at reference. Does the uh, is the beard growing up from the ear or not? It doesn't exactly. So I'll have to make the cut here. And shape it slightly more. Okay. I still think that the hat might be a darker. Mustache also need to have a blue influence. Oops. And some of that rim. Up there. Cool, cool, cool. This looks quite nice yeah I had the <coughs> and now thinking can I include the red that I plant somewhere here uh, that he will have a belt or something like that to just break the bluish well, maybe it's too saturated because I also don't want it to take the whole uh, uh, focus right like I don't want to it to be super intensive right because if I will do do this okay maybe that's right like this it's like this starts to be the first place you go to uh, when you are looking at it because it's so much contrast uh, in all of these blues. So I need to be careful and actually make it quite desaturated. This shoe is more in background than I'm thinking. How can I also make some of the um, aerial perspective? It doesn't work in such a small distances, but it always can uh, improve the, you know, like a cool effect. It's already like blending into the background, even if it's super close. Even brighter. Yeah.
right now I also need a little bit more uh, contrast up here. I have this very strong contrast here, so it need to also support uh, the perspective, right? It's not only that it's uh, more foggy, the uh, leg behind, but also have the much smaller contrast in between colors and shadow than the this part that is upward, uh, forward. Should the leg, front leg catch any of the light? I don't know. <coughs> nah, it looks it looks good as it is right now. this highlight Just I will save this as an iteration, iterative save. This is actually a pretty cool thing in Corel. This under one click, because uh, I need to. I think I need to remove some parts of the sketch. Do not get distracted. Okay, uh, cool. I might want to. I need more tumor references, so I need dramatic clouds. Uh, maybe sunset is too far pushed. I need just dramatic clouds. Mm -hmm. Something something like this maybe or is there anything similar in here? This would be too much. This is also nice or this is nice. No, this is better. And I need a sword or knife. I literally will look for a knife in sun because I want to have a reference how does metal looks when it's lit by a sunlight. in here oh, I like this reflection on this one but I don't think it would work um Okay, what if I look for a sword? Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't exactly see anything I could use. If I just look for a sword, it would be those swords. Ugh. Looking for a sword by a daylight, but I doubt I will find. Oh, this is this is nice. Okay, I think I will just use this one. Yes, the video after goes to YouTube and should stay. Okay, see you Veronica. Yeah, I will record for just one hour more and I don't know how far can I push it. This layer. Um, okay. <coughs> uh, how can I figure out the light on this one? I have to have like a very steely color, maybe too dark. But the the secret of all metals is just that they reflect everything, right? That they are like mi mirrors, so they have to use the colors that are present on the um, in the environment <coughs> this will work I hope it would be great if I could actually create a contrast between the sword and background so it would be awesome if I had something dark behind the swords then the effect would be much better <coughs> for the for the first start it looks cool yeah, I hadn't even touched any of the face features yet but I think it's fine I can I would have to do it later anyway just add some Just for contrast's sake, that I know that there is something dark on his face. And actually, probably would have to have those reflections. So it cannot be just like that.
So far works. Let's do something about the clouds. It's a problem that Hud is not sitting on his head. Like I don't know, I have some issues still with it. Yeah, but it's again I can I always have time later to get to those things. Oops, not this layer, this is the layer I am looking for, just to add some of those deeper shadows for the reference sake. Right, but I think what is forward should have the stronger contrast. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, clouds, 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 clouds. Uh, let's give them some shapes. What do I need to change up here? Can I go darker with those clouds? What will happen? This layer would be better for it. Uh, I think I needed to zoom, zoom out again. This is, yeah, it should be blue and not this gray color. Is this fine? No, this is too much. This is also too much. So I can darken the bottom of the clouds a little bit um, in some places put uh, like a deeper shadow. too far because it's also right like if I am thinking about leaving the contrast stronger at front it also should have to apply to the clouds that the only the clouds that are closer uh, are uh, forward uh, uh, that are up front I think I draw some of the clouds somewhere here, yep. How 
can I do it so it looks nice? The clouds are always complicated to draw. As long as you just think about direction of the shadow, it should look correct. It's better again to start with big shapes before I will jump into details. So I'm trying to create clouds out of, out of just arranging a big balls and shade the shapes of the balls and then I will add like fluffy uh, smaller size. thinking also that I should not uh, create like a big contrast on the edge close to the edge of the picture because again it will uh, get an attention that is totally unneeded up here I don't like it. I don't know what to do. It doesn't look good. the sun is behind them so maybe I should just show more of the shaded part it should be more like that a little bit of this yellow green uh, oh, blue green blue green if that would influence some of those colors that would unify them because it's kind of 
They're sticking out like something else. This looks good. I think I need some of those clouds here. Yeah, this I was missing this lighter shape here. more sense. I don't know, should I even extend this shape? So it's really tall clouds up there. And the shapes goes like this with everything. question in the chat um, that I am leaving contrast for the focal point uh, so why the shadow of the clouds is not as intense as shadow on the character uh, because the clouds are far away I don't know if uh, that explains it <laughs> but yeah just the, with, with, with the distance, the contrast uh, is smaller uh, and I also want to keep the uh, focal point on the character, not on the clouds so I try to not have the same contrast um, as I have on character to have this strong contrast on the clouds I want them to be a background dramatic but background There are things also that I'm looking at, like for example, the shapes that are created here, right? Like they are super equal in sizes. I need to modify it so it doesn't look so repetitive. Maybe I should have more a blue of the sky, like more the cyan. I will try. How does it look? Okay, 
does this this can work maybe it's not exactly that hue uh, but it's not as empty as it was okay I'm doing it so I can uh, have a darker background to show the edges of the clouds because otherwise they would just blend into the white sky and you would have a hard time to distinguish the contrast between them, right? Like it was, and now is like that. the next time I need to figure out how can I actually have a voice chat at the same time because it's really sad I feel like I am all alone really nice I think that that would be a general direction right like from here I would slowly be zooming in more uh, working with smaller brushes detailing it but this is like this from here not, not much will be changing like uh, this is the 80% of work done in 20% of the time the rest is just a render farm uh, rendering everything so it would all the details, everything else uh, will come from this point. But the general feeling, general direction is established. And yeah, I think I would actually finish soon uh, the recording so if you have any more questions drop in them uh, drop them by uh, so I can read them in next 10 minutes <laughs>
Yeah, I need to investigate the voice chat. Maybe it would be possible to add a source on uh, open broadcast from Discord and have like a Discord included uh, in the recording. Even the miniature looks quite nice. <laughs> yeah, I would love to uh, have a more webinars like this one if this only works out. Uh, next time I will do it like even more official, post it on Facebook, maybe there will be more people coming. I uh, just need to... This time I wanted to just try it out because I never use uh, YouTube Live for it. And it's quite easy to set up, so I am really happy with the results. One more question. I hope I don't ask too much. What would you recommend to a beginner who isn't very experienced with the colors to practice so that I can understand colors better? Um, still life. Painting from life. This is absolutely marvelous experience and you learn so much from it. Just set up two apples, lit it with uh, warm light, uh, like with the light bulb and uh, the second they painted uh, under the uh, light from the window if you have like north uh, facing window that is perfect because it's just blue light so it's cold and compare the pictures and see what is going on and try to understand the colors like this exercises like that are just great or if you have a lamps that have like uh, different uh, white balance because some some lamps have a more warmer light some lamps have a cooler light like paint the same object under two different lights uh, and see what is going on with the colors especially you know, like the the um, like the strongest cor colors uh, you can choose. Like take a red, because red acts so differently when it's lit by warm and when it's lit by the cold light. So it's like experimenting. Uh, observing is great, but I think you really need to paint it uh, from observation to really get it. Cool. So I don't see any more questions on the chat uh, thank you so much for coming and spending this time with me uh, if you have any more questions drop me a line on discord um, if you have a feedback what can be improved what would be better would it be better to have somebody uh, managing the chat uh, or yeah uh, adding a voice chat like everything what you think can improve it uh, please let me know uh, and 
uh, yeah, the video will be on YouTube. I, I hope it will be updated, uh, uh, uploaded to YouTube after I finish recording. Uh, yeah, I will. I will check it out. Uh, what can I do after uh, with the video itself? So thanks again uh, for coming here, being with me, looking what I am doing, and see you hopefully next time. Bye bye.